We are students from Omakura University, Department of Laboratory Medicine. We will represent the blood film of parasite. We will talk about the purpose of the technique, principle, procedure, microscopic examination, and results. First, I will talk about the purpose of this technique. Thick and thin blood film stained with Gimza stain permit the detection of blood parasites, including malaria parasite, trypanosoma, and microfilaria. Principle The thick blood film permits the examination of a large amount of blood for the presence of parasites. Since the smear is not fixed with methanol, the red blood cells lies, permitting better visualization of the organism. The thin film allows for observation of RBC's morphology, including an intracellular and extracellular parasite. A larger area of the slide must be examined in the thin smear, although there is less distortion when compared with a thick smear. Blood Lancet Alcohol Swap Microscopic Slide Pipette Gimza Stain Methanol Usually, the third or fourth finger is selected for the puncture. Use alcohol swab. Squeeze the finger if the blood doesn't develop. Use sterile lancet. Prepare a clean microscopic glass slide. For a better control of the drop size, you can touch the finger to the slide from below. In the thin smear, hold a slide at angle of 45 degrees against the surface of the first slide, touch the drop and let the blood to spread along its edge. Push the slide forward rapidly. In the thick smear, Use a corner of another slide to spread the blood drop into a circle. Fix thin blood film with methanol for 3 minutes. Wash the slide. Stain the thin and thick smear with diluted Gimza stain for 20 minutes. Wash the slides. Rinse the slides in water and air dry. Examine the slides under microscope. 